stress is really subjective. You know, one person's stressor is another person's inspiration. Right. So you take like public speaking, take Rich like running for office, take uh, Mike for like, you know, trying a case. For some, that stress would be too overwhelming. For others, that would get you, rise you from a level of what we call homeostasis to optimal level of performance. And Dr. Mike, I'm wondering if, you know, one thing we talk about is our, you mentioned that our bodies are wired for acute, short burst of stress. But now we're, we are in a state, our society has put us in a state of chronic stress. And although we no longer fear the lion and tiger that's chasing us, social media, I think, you know, has replaced that and is our new predator. And the effects of chronic stress on the body, if you could explain how inflammation and stress are all related, I really appreciate it. So when, when our body goes into this fight or flight mode, one of the things that happens is we need to prepare for running or fighting. In order to do that, our nervous system shifts blood away from our intestinal system and into our muscles. Our, hearts, our heart rate increases, our breathing increases, our pupils dilate, and the body dumps sugar into the bloodstream for immediate energy. Well, that's, again, supposed to be only happening in very short bursts. But what happens if you're under chronic stress and your body is constantly dumping sugar into your bloodstream? And then you compound that with a high carbohydrate diet. Sugar acts like acid in the inside of our arteries and it is linked to chronic inflammation. If you have ongoing stress and now you develop chronic inflammation, that is literally the seat for all chronic illness, cancer, diabetes, heart disease, depression, anxiety, all inflammatory disorders. So here we have this chronic stress. And again, we talk about it as a mental and emotional thing, but it's absolutely a physiological thing that leads to chronic illness and early death. So that's how important it is to come up with stress management programs and lifestyle modifications in order to keep people well.